So a bit of a monster haul this afternoon. It's Thursday. Finished early after a late night yesterday at work at the day job. Called in at a couple of semis, one in Quinana, which is Robbie Hollywood's stomping ground. And managed to find this 1991, it's actually a sergeant's woolen jersey, just hiding in the racks by itself, which was awesome. Just a rugby jersey for a local club, a pair of Levi's. Uh, that's from yesterday. Sign hat, Western Force from 2013. And then, oh, there's a couple of couple of inks down there as well. And then I've come to the other good semis closer to home and cleaned up on these books. They're actually kind enough to let me out the back. And yeah, as you can see there, there's a few, quite a few older ones, hard covers and the lady sort of gave me a bit of an insight and said a, a guy comes in to this particular one every now and then and just drops off like 200 books and they, they tend to be in really good condition and and kind of look like these ones, she said. So I was pretty stoked to see that. They ended up costing me about $70 all up for those. I paid 40 for the stuff from the first one. I should be able to sell the jumper for 40, already to get that money back, which just leaves these. And there's, there's some in there uh, that I already know will sell for much, much more than that. So this is an extremely good deal. And the moral of the story is it always always pays to ask or well, simply said to the ladies was do you have any more fantasy type books at the back and she said you know what come have a look so i did and here's the result awesome this is why i do this love the stuff there's a few in there that are sort of orphans and need to find sets and will sit for a little while but there's others that are you know mostly complete and there's vintage ones like these Anne mccaffrey ones that are just awesome you don't find you know good hard covers anymore and the page is really nice um i haven't had a chance to go through any of these of course 1992 first edition so if those are all first editions and mccaffrey fans are mad so they'll pay awesome money for those and there's there's about 12 i think i grabbed there all look the same. I'm guessing they probably are all first editions. So yeah, it's probably probably three or four hundred dollars just in those books alone. So yeah. <laughs> Usually you can see the reflection. Mm. Try this one. Oh look, they're all having a party, all hanging out. All uh, different shapes and sizes. This place hasn't been open that long and already these are all banged up, bent from people running into them. Pretty stoked with that. A couple of little extra bits there in that bag as well. Found a, a few stragglers in the ute. Let's go have a look. All right, what a mission that was. So total spend was 74.50. I've just done a quick Obviously, organization so you can have a little bit of a better look and a uh, quick comp check on these ones because I've tried to pick up sets wherever possible I haven't seen these before and they were sitting in the 50 cent bin uh, that's what the black cross indicates there there's actually eight of those and the sold comps have eights nines tens as bundles selling for around 100 bucks so that little stack right there will get me my money back which is awesome as you can see, there's a, a stack there of just randoms that I grabbed. There, JD Robs I have sold before, um, and a big bundle of 20. Not too bad. Probably get, I don't know, maybe 50 bucks of those as well. 
These Steven Erickson are very popular. I actually have the whole set of those in a small paperback. So what I'll do is I'll swap these out and I actually wanna, I'll probably keep these ones, the bigger set for my own personal collection. Uh, a couple of random ones I just took a chance on. It's a winner, winner of a science fiction novel award. Yeah, good condition. Got Melanie Rawn, a couple of David Edding, Edding's books. Some cherry good kinds, the hard covers that are getting a bit harder to find. Anthony Ryan, haven't seen this one before, but yeah, grabbed grabbed five of them. Should go all right. And then there's that big massive stack of the Anne McCaffrey's as well. All hard covers. One little hobbit and a cheeky little tri rugby sandwich box for a buck. So yeah. Pretty happy with the whole thing and i do have some more Anne McCaffrey's actually in the unit as well in the hoard yeah better get to work i guess